In this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods to your Minecraft Bedrock Realms. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up any web browser. So for this video, I'm going to be using Google and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look this up, mcpecentral.com, and I'm going to be linking it in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And this is a free website where you can download mods that will actually work on your Minecraft Bedrock Realms free of charge. You don't need to pay anything. So here's how things do look like. So what you want to do here is you want to go to the top left and select on these three bars just like so. Then in this menu, go ahead and scroll down until you see the option that says mods so yep here it is and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on that all right then it is going to give you a list of a bunch of mods that you can go ahead and install from this website so all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and find a mod to download and this is going to be the mod that we're going to be then uploading on our realm so for this video let's go ahead and work with the biomes add-on so well, typically it is going to give you a bunch of information about the mod itself some images and stuff like that but all you want to do is you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down until you see this download link right over here so it is going to say download here and sometimes there is like a blue link as well and you just want to go ahead and press on it just like so then it is going to bring you to a download page that looks something like this now i want to make something very clear every single download link or download page is different so what some add-on creators do is that they make you watch advertisements first and then give you access to the add-on just so that they're able to Get compensated for their work so i just want to be as transparent as possible with you guys and also all the advertisements from the link go directly to pack creators not me that is also something else i wanted to say but anyways all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just download it just like so all right, so once that's downloaded, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store just like so. And if you're on iOS, you could technically do the exact same thing using your file manager app. But for Android, you will need to go ahead and install this app. So all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in file manager just like so. All right, there you go. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see this app over here. So it should be called file manager plus, And this is just going to make the process significantly easier. And this is what I use to download texture packs, add-ons, etc. And I recommend that you guys also download this as well it is completely for free but just make sure you get the right one because there's like multiple apps called file manager so this one over here is called file manager plus and it does have this logo but once you went ahead and installed it all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on open then you're going to get a page that looks like this but just go ahead and select on the downloads folder right over here then over here it is going to give you all of the files that you did download on your device and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the add-on file so here's the add-on file right over here it says biomes add-on.mcpack.zip now here's where things get really important what we need to do is we need to go ahead and long press on it just like so then in the bottom menu we need to go ahead and select on name and basically you want to check to see that the file name ends in .mc add-on not .mc addon.zip or .mc addon.7z or anything like that. So in this instance, as you're able to tell, it says biomes addon.mc addon.zip. So let's go ahead and remove the .zip over here. So once we're done with that, we can go ahead and just press on done just like so. And if your file already ends in a .mc addon, then you don't need to do anything. But all I'm saying that if it ends in .zip, you want to get rid of that zip before we do anything. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and long press on it just like though. Press over here where it says more. Go ahead and press on open with then go ahead and select on minecraft you may need to go ahead and scroll down if this is your first time ever using the file manager app but anyways guys it is then going to go ahead and load into minecraft really quickly okay so what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on play just like so and what we need to do is we need to create a new world and then we're going to be uploading that world to our realm so let me go ahead and show you guys how this process looks like so you just want to go ahead and create your world like you normally would you can set it to survival creative obviously where it says experiments you want to go ahead and turn all of these on right over here and you want to make sure you turn on both the behavior pack and the resource pack of the add-on that you did just download then you just want to go ahead and press on create and press on create anyways all right so as i mentioned previously the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and just create the world over here and then once we confirm that the add-on does work then we're going to upload it to our realm all right guys so here we are in our minecraft bedrock world and as you're able to tell things look absolutely amazing take a look at this guys over here it honestly looks absolutely beautiful so now that you confirm that your add-on does work let's go ahead and upload it to our realm so to do that all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just go back to the main menu go to the realms tab then locate the realm you're trying to work with so this is the realm we're working with and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on settings then you want to go ahead and just load into any of these slots over here so basically what you need to do is you need to replace one of them so let's just go ahead and press on this one and then you just want to go ahead and press on edit world and then what you want to do from here is you want to scroll all the way down until you see replace world and you just want to go ahead and press on that now keep in mind before you do this 
it is going to replace the world that is currently on that particular file. So if anything, please go ahead and make a backup of your world just in case, because the last thing you want to do is replace a world that you actually want to play on. All right. But once you went ahead and made sure to back up any worlds that you want to keep, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on confirm. Then you want to go ahead and just select on the world that you did create with the add on. And now it is going to begin to say export in progress right over here. Then it is going to begin uploading the world files, which is honestly so cool. I'm really excited about this guys. All right. Once you're done with that, and then all you want to do is you want to exit out. Then you want to go ahead and press on play and load into your realm. All right, guys, and here we are in our Minecraft realm. And as you're able to tell, the add-on is actually working. And then as you're able to tell, we can go ahead and invite all of our friends over here and basically do everything you normally would be able to do in a Minecraft realm. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.